Hey everybody, this week we're going to learn about Thomas. Thomas was one of Jesus' disciples, and Thomas had a really important story after Jesus died on the cross that tells us a little bit more about our faith and how we should feel about Jesus. So go ahead and listen to this story about Thomas. When the disciples saw Jesus alive for the first time, one of them, Thomas, had not been there. The Bible tells us what happens next. Jesus is alive. We saw him. Jesus' friends told Thomas, I won't believe you until I see Jesus with my own eyes, Thomas said. When the friends met the next week, everyone was happy except Thomas. How can anyone rise from the dead, he argued, unless I see his hands and feet. I will not believe. Suddenly, Jesus was standing right in the room, even though the door was shut. Everyone was surprised to see him, especially Thomas. Don't be frightened, Jesus said. It really is me. Thomas, touch my hands and see that I am alive. Then Thomas knew that Jesus had risen from the dead, and he believed because he had seen Jesus himself. Thomas, you are glad now, Jesus said. You believe I am alive only because you have seen me with your very own eyes. In the days to come, God's favor will be on those who believe in me, although they have never seen me. So Thomas didn't believe that Jesus really had risen from the dead because he didn't see him come back like everybody else had. Wouldn't you think that might be hard to believe? Have you ever been told something that your friends or your family has seen, but you didn't see it and you didn't think it really happened? Just a couple weeks ago, I, me and my husband were walking our pig Pumbaa in the park, and somebody was amazed that they saw a pig in the park on a leash. Needless to say, that's not something you do see every day. And he said, I have to take a picture of this pig because my wife will never believe me that I saw a pig on a leash in the park. That's kind of what the story is about, isn't it? That Thomas didn't believe because that was probably too good to be true or unrealistic, just like the guy in the park whose wife wasn't going to believe that he saw a pig. Sometimes it's really hard for us to believe without being able to see or physically touch something. But that doesn't mean it's not real. If he had never taken a picture of a pig, he still would have seen Pumbaa, the pig in the park, but he wouldn't have been believed, right? But that's the incredible thing about our faith. We believe in Jesus, even though we can't physically see him or touch him. Sometimes we feel his presence in our lives, and we feel the Holy Spirit moving us in new directions, but we can't physically see any of that. And that's what makes our faith in Jesus so incredible. So no matter where we go or what we do, we know that we are blessed with our faith and that Jesus loves us and is always going to be with us in our hearts and that we should strive to live like Jesus did. So we're going to make a craft to help us remember how blessed we are to have our faith. For this craft, you're going to want some thick paper or cardstock, some markers, you really need a red one, a glue stick, scissors, and some googly eyes. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to trace one of your hands. And then I want you to trace your other hand. One of your hand tracings is probably going to be better. So I'm right-handed. So do you think it was better when I traced my left or my right hand? That's right, it was my left hand, wasn't it? So once you trace your hands, I want you to cut them out. Once I've cut my hands out, I'm going to take my leftover paper and carefully cut a nice rectangle. That's going to be the bottom of my art. So now that I have the bottom, I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to glue them onto that strip. 
So these hands are going to represent Jesus' hands. So what did Thomas see on Jesus' hands? Do you remember? He saw holes in his hands. Why did Jesus have holes in his hands? Do you remember? He had holes in his hands from when he was on the cross, and they put nails in his hand. And that's why Thomas believed it was Jesus. So we are going to put some hearts in the middle of our hands to represent those holes that were in Jesus' hands. Because Jesus did that to show his love for us and his love for Thomas and his love for everybody in the world. So that's why we're going to put some hearts in the center of Jesus' hands to represent those holes. And then we are going to write on the bottom of our paper. We are going to write blessed are those who have not seen and then I'm going to leave a space and yet have believed. That is John 20, 29. And that is Jesus talking after he has shown Thomas's hands, and Thomas believes who he is. Now, I'm going to take my googly eyes. I'm going to take two that match, and I'm going to glue them right next to scene. Because that's going to help us remember what this means. Even though we haven't seen Jesus, we believe in him, don't we? And we know he loves us. And that's what Thomas had to be reminded of in this story. So I hope you had fun making your craft this week, and I hope that you never doubt in your faith like Thomas did, and that you remember always that Jesus is with you, and Jesus loves you. Have a good week. Bye!